Some of us, we know truth is hitting us. <laughs> we know power is in front of us. We know conviction is gripping us. But some of us still will not change. That is the definition of a devil. Somebody say amen. Because the Lord and the world is at direct odds one with another. So you cannot expect to look like the world, act like the world, preach like the world, testify like the world, live like the world, and still put on the image of God. These two do not mix. For the Lord said everything in this world hates me. It always has, always will. It won't never change. They're going to hate you too. If you don't get conformed to them, you better get transformed and start believing the undefiled word of God. And have, if you don't have his spirit, you're none of his. I didn't write it. I say sometimes, sometimes I don't even like it. But it's the truth. So we got to walk in it. So young person, I don't, if you went and asked the Lord for forgive you, that's a good step. But you're not finished walking. You hear the mind that we're of? The mind is we're of as long as I said the sinner's prayer, I'm okay. That's the mind we got to get rid of because guess what? There's something further beyond. And if you don't get further beyond, you're going to die in your little circle. And it just may be that your little circle does not include Jesus. I would hate to know that you feel like you're okay and you're saved and everything's good and you circled your wagons around this little theory that as long as you said the sinner's prayer, you're okay. I don't care what your preacher said. If it don't line up with the Bible, it don't work. You are not your mistakes. I mean, he's with you. You are not your mistakes. You are not your parents. How many is with me? I'm going to say that again. You are not your parents. You're not even your granddaddy or grandma. You're not your aunt or your uncle, your cousin. You ain't none of them. You know who you are? You're a son or daughter of God.